Hey, welcome back to Let's Fly VFR. Today I'm going to show you quickly how you can get some more performance out of your GPU. Now, if you're new to the channel and you've just discovered us, then feel free to, if you like what you see, to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and that little bell down there to let you know when we have some more videos come out. And if you're returning, then thanks for coming back. Let's get on with giving you some more performance. All in X-Plane 11, props, jets and much more, all done in real world weather. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like and leave me a comment, look forward to hearing from you. More power out of your out GPU, your, your graphics card. So what do you need to do that? First and foremost, if you have a notebook or you're using the onboard graphics in your CPU, then this video sadly won't be for you because you won't be able to do this. But if you have a, uh, a discrete or a separate, is it a separate video card? Um, as I do, I have a 1050 Ti, so um, a bit of the budget end of the 10 series, but it works pretty, pretty well. Um, or a 1060 or a 980 or a 760 or whatever it might be. Um, you will be able to overclock it, I assure you. So where do we start and what tools do we need? So firstly, just quickly, um, you need to be able to monitor your system whenever you're doing overclocking, whether it's uh, CPU or GPU. So with the CPU, you can see my uh, CPU here running away quite happily. It's the 8350 uh, running at 4.3 because that's at the moment it seems to be the best place for it. It runs smoothly and does everything I want it to do until I get some better cooling and I can squeeze the hell out of that one. But at the moment, we're interested in the GPU. So here's GPU Z. It's one of many free pieces of software out there that monitor your video card for you. So you can see here at the moment, I've actually got mine overclocked. I've pulled this back just to show you what it would look like um, standard or stock, whatever you like. So to be able to do an overclock, um, you need firstly to go in here and you will need to unlock the voltage control. Okay, that's I think that's the only thing that you need to do in here. Otherwise, when you go into here, these will be grayed out and you will have no control over them. So the first step that you can do is to grab your power limit and pull it all the way up. Now what's really important with power here and, and the graphics card, my own 1050 Ti only has a PCIe slot. It doesn't have any of the additional power. I've got the cable there, but nowhere to plug it in. Pretty sad, isn't it? Um, but you will, no doubt, if you have any other graphics card, if you've got any of the other 10 series, the 60, 70 or 80, um, you'll have additional power there and you will be able to wring the daylights out of it and get lots more performance, uh, you know, percentage wise than, than I'm getting out of mine at the moment. So what's the first steps you can do? First is you can bring the power level up and your temp limit up. And I wouldn't worry about it, guys. People start to stress about temperatures. Um, even with this overclocked, I think my fan on auto only ever comes to maybe 55 degrees, a uh, 55%. If you want to, you can put it on manual and set it up at 80 or 90%. Uh, it'll be a lot louder, um, but it, you'll be assured that it stays really cool. The next thing that you can do is bring your core voltage up. Now, does this immediately do anything? I did some tests on it um, and run a whole lot of test to see what happens as you change individual things and just raising the core voltage didn't seem to make any real difference so you know you can do that but that's just building blocks that's where you start okay we've now got a solid foundation we know we're going to have plenty of power um, our temperature limit is fairly high but um, with my particular card it won't go anywhere near that regardless of what it's set to but you need to check yours and be careful with it and you can check your sensors here by coming to the next screen on your GPU Z, you can check your temperatures and your uh, GPU load and your uh, video engine load and all the rest of the stuff there. Um, for X Plane 11 users, and you want to make sure that you're getting as much out of it as you can, and you've maybe you've got a, uh, a 760 or a something like that that might only have two gigabyte, um, which is my, what my old card, old card was. 
um, then you can check here and you can make your settings with your with your um, settings within X plane 11 sorry I'm getting a bit tangled uh, you can make your settings within X plane 11 uh, such that you don't exceed the VRAM limit that you have you only have 2 gig then you don't want to be exceeding the 2 gig because it just doesn't help you at all you want to be up at the very top so if you want to be 1.7 1.8 gig maybe uh, of VRAM when the when everything's up and running and you can check this with the, with the game running any other game uh, suitable uh, suitably to do the same thing as well so you want to get some more performance out of your system then you need to be overclocking so here at step one that's where we are step two this is where I'm currently running once you get it set you can go okay that's what I want to do but I ha it's not necessarily saved if you want to lock it you can lock it here and when you, the system starts up and you make sure you have your startup turned on here then you will be able to do that now you need to unlock it to to make any changes so but I've got that on and that's good now I can probably go a little bit further than this but at the moment I wanted to show you this and I'll show you the results because um, you can see them sitting down here so what do you get okay stock settings let me make that large I get and this is with every the zeros and without the power being pulled up 80.3 FPS and I get 2023 uh, on its score minimum of 28.6 uh, 28.5 and I think it drops to 26 point something or other with the boost so sometimes these widen but this goes up as well so um, you know we're getting better performance you can see the rest of the details uh, of my system sitting there okay so that's what you get stock now is it going to make the world you know move drastically it's not going to do massive amounts but you can see the improvement I've got here I've got another 5 PS FPS improvement this has come up a fair ways from there 26.6 so they came back a little bit that went up from the 160 something or other 69 that it was to 175 so we've got an you know we've got an increase we've got a performance increase and that's what it's all about with everybody's systems they will be different and you will get different amounts of uh, performance changes depending on your system and how far you're prepared to push that system now when you're going about overclocking okay the steps are really I would suggest that you would put these up and then you know be cautious with your your temperature limit if you're not comfortable bring it back down a bit that that's okay but I would say you want to have the voltage core voltage up first and then these you just move these incrementally I would move the core voltage up to for me I would you know you could go 50 and uh, save it hitting the tick button here and then run a test on it and then you move it up a bit more you might go to 100 and then you try it out then you might move to 120 and try it out and it's a uh, now it's one of those things where you just need to take your time and not get too excited about it all make sure that as you make these changes note what they are but don't go locking them in so that when you restart the system it comes back to a, a setting that won't work okay so you have a system that you have a setting that works you can save it as a profile allow it to start make a change allow it to configure itself here and then come down here and grab heaven or I'll show you another one as well this is probably the quickest one Cinebench Cinebench is another uh, program that you can get for free I'll put links for all these things down in the description for you so this one tests OpenGL and it tests your CPU so you can see my CPU performance as I've been trying to squeeze it up uh, my best score is up here at 696 that was at 4.4 gig at 1.325 volts so now I haven't even got massive amounts of volts uh, on my CPU at the moment but it gets beyond that it starts to get hot and doesn't want to play too well so anyway let's run the OpenGL test so it's a matter of just clicking and I'll let this run through so you can have a look at it as we go so it starts out with a couple of cars and this is looking at textures and reflections and all these sorts of things and it's going to go through and you can see down here on the right hopefully that there is a, an FPS counter running there so you can check that and we will get a score at the end it will tell us 
how well we went. And then as you make adjustments to your uh, frequencies, you can see if it starts to go backwards, then you know you've gone too far. It may not crash, but if it doesn't perform better, then there isn't any point, is there? It's pretty, pretty common sense. It's not real hard. So there we go. And that's the end of the test. Very quick, isn't it? There we go. Cinema 4D. And there's a whole range of ones. If you're particularly interested in, we got 81.13 that time. And these do vary from, from test to test. Um, there's always a, an amount of fluctuation in it. So if you're really dead keen, you might run this five times and see what the average is uh, and report on that. So let's put that away. Uh, no. Um, oh, and just as high, I did this a few minutes ago and did a test and I got 83. So there was a couple of FPS difference in it. So it's not set in stone, guys. So let's have a look at the um, stock settings I showed you, the overclocks I've showed you. So, And the other test you can also do is Heaven. Heaven's another free download. Again, I'll put that down in the description for you. And this one you can do DirectX 11. 9 and OpenGL. So if you're interested in OpenGL with X-Plane, then this is a good one to go on. And uh, we can put it at uh, System. You can have it at Custom. You can make up your own. And on my case, my uh, just find my own graphics here. Oh, and there's different setups. 4x3, 16x10, 16x9. So there's mine. Mine's a 16 by 10 at 1080 by uh, 1680 by 1050. That's what my screen is. And then we can run it. I'll just start it so you can have a look, but we won't run through because this takes about five minutes to actually go through the full benchmark. But it's uh, it it does does the job. If you want to hit benchmark and here's benchmark up the top here, you want to see does it pause. Now, what does it do? Does it get any tearing across the screen as you push your overclocks up? It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, everything floats. This is on a set of islands that are floating if you've never seen it. So you can see the FPS up the top here, 112 currently. Um, you can see the graphics, frequencies, the memory, what it's doing. It's all set in a set of islands. And uh, there are other versions of this as well. There's one that's set for VR. So if you have a VR capable system, there's one for that where you can move around with it um, like a game. And there's another one called Valley where you can let it run its set predetermined path. Or you can actually, again, like a game, move around the valley and have a look and just see what performance you get out of it, out of your system. There we go. Just turn that off. There we go. So that's what you need, guys. I hope that's been helpful for you. So you've got some tools, you've got some settings, information, things you need to know. Um, you know, and like everything, you just be a little careful as you go through. But really, I can't see yourself, couldn't see you doing any damage to yourself. You'll get to a point where it may not work. And as long as you haven't saved uh, the wrong setting here, and if you did, all you'd go through as and restart in safe mode. So you could get, get back to this and then disable it. You could do that. So, okay, so you can see the GPU load here. What was the max load? Let's have a look, quick look. Highest load, 98%. So, you know, it's getting nearly maxed out. So it's, you know, my system is pretty evenly matched. It's pretty good. And the most memory that was used, 1.1 gig was being used through that. All right, well, again, I hope that was, was helpful for you. Get out, have a go. Leave a comment down below and tell me how you went. Did you get a lot more performance? Did you get huge amounts of performance? Or did you not get any? It's very much system dependent. You should get something. And if you can get some more performance with the GPU overclock, and you can see my video, which I'll put up the top here for the CPU overclock, then you're going to get a few, few more FPS here, a few more FPS there. And with system tunings and things, you can scrape up a few more there. So until next time, thanks for coming and watching. Please hit that like button for me. If you like the video, hit the like. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down. That's fine. At least I know you don't like it. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you.